Very excited to talk to my next guest. Bellator is a monster. I mean, a monster coming up on Saturday night. Yeah, Patricio Pitbull taking on AJ McKee, the World Featherweight Grand Prix final coming up for Bellator. It's Bellator 263 on Showtime. We have the president, Scott Coker, joining us here on the program. Scott, thanks for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, happy to be on board. This is uh, this one is uh, is an absolute monster uh, between these guys, Scott. I mean, how uh, just j- just generically, how excited are you for this week? I mean, two guys who uh, have been in your promotion for a long time. You get to the end of this tournament, and it's finally going to pay off on Saturday night. Yeah, you know, honestly, it's when I think about this fight. When uh, we signed AJ McKee when I first came on board, let's say 2014, late 14, maybe even early 15, Pitbull was a champion. He's been champion for that long. And he's been just doing his thing and taking people out and, and has, you know, has a long reigning history here and helped build Bellator. And, and now he's fighting the young kid that's, you know, built his way up and fought in a 16 man tournament, just like he did. And uh, I'm excited because I think that uh, when I look at these guys, uh, these guys games, as far as ground game, transition game, striking game, a wrestling game, jujitsu game. I mean, they're all solid. So uh, really, I think it's a toss up fight. The uh, the thing that you have done that I have uh, found super fascinating is the investment you've put into young fighters and giving them a big platform. I mean, and a guy like, you know, Aaron Pico, who's had his falls and then his bounce back. We have a really local exciting prospect who uh, you have fighting your promotion, Valley Lareda down here, who we're kind of seeing her career blossom before our eyes. To see a guy like AJ, who's been with you from the start, been 19, 20 years old, and to see him make it through the gauntlet. He's still here undefeated, and now he's getting the chance to fight for the belt. How I guess, how much pride do you take in that, that it's just kind of built up from the bottom like that? You know, I'll tell you, uh, when, I, when I think about building a fight company, uh, when I came in here, uh, I just basically co- copied the model that I did at Strikeforce, you know, which was basically, we have to buy free agents from the top down, uh, you know, to basically keep the fights, and we have, to, we have to keep doing fights. We don't have four or five years to wait until these fighters mature and blossom. But I did tell my guys, I said, look, we have to build from the ground up as well. Well, And so you have to build from the ground up. You buy free agents from the top down. That's what we did at Strikeforce. And that's what we did here. And the formula is working. And, uh, you know, this AJ is a testament to, uh, you know, the the system that we have here at Bellator to build the new guys, the new girls, the new kids, and really give them, like you said, a platform, but also kind of guide their career along the way then at a certain point, we turn them loose and they, fight, they can fight anybody. And that's what you're seeing with AJ. How, how do you, um, I guess you could use maybe AJ as an example. Like, how did you use the right timing, knowing the timing in a guy's career? Like, how do you know when it's too much time to pull back and, you know, whether or not you're giving them the right amount of uh, opponent at the right age? You know, I'll tell you, with uh, everybody, it's really an individual formula, to be honest. You know, like, there's other fighters that we've had that were really prominent, we've had big careers, in uh, strike force, big careers in the UFC. And maybe they were more of a wrestler, you know, that was their strength. So we would have them fight against wrestlers in the very beginning, just so they could start feeling comfortable. But at a certain point, I'd say, you know, around fights four, five, six, they have to start fighting guys that are uh, in their caliber, which means that, you know, if you're, if you're a four and oh, five and oh, you should be able to fight a guy, another guy that's four or five and oh. And then, you know, if you can jump that hurdle, then you then now you're starting to think about top 10, started thinking about the world title and uh you know that's how aj got his shot into the tournament which led him to this fight so uh you know he's earned his way for sure but uh you know we have a certain formula and i feel that it's worked you know throughout my my history in promoting mixed martial arts uh, and we're just applying it here at bellator Uh, we're talking to scott coker president of bellator now down here in miami uh one guy we love watching fight a free agent that you did sign yoel romero i was very excited to see him versus rumble johnson uh, it didn't end up happening because, you know, the world will be crazy as it is and you never know what's going to pop up. But do you know when we will get to see Yoel's uh, Bellator debut? Do you have any idea when that might be? Yeah, my hope is that we'll see him fight and maybe we'll see him fight in Florida sometime with Bellator coming up here soon uh, and maybe before the end of the year. Uh, that's that's what I've heard that his time frame will be to come back and he'll be ready to go. Uh, and so uh, we're excited because, yeah, you're right. I, I was disappointed that that fight did not happen because the whole world wanted to see that fight. But, uh, you know, now that, uh, you know, Rumble has a big, big, you know, tough fight with Nemkov coming up, uh, he's busy and we're going to get Yoel another fight and maybe down the line, these two guys can lock horns at some point. 
Yeah, you, you kind of led into my next question. Is I, you know, if I get the big boss on, I love badgering to know when uh, we might get something down here in South Florida because, man, Bellator used to come down here all the time, Scott. There was, this was almost a, a hub back at the Hard Rock. The Hard Rock's beautiful now, the guitar and all that type of stuff. Um, I, I just think back to some of the great Bellator fights that used to, you know, even before you were in the promotion that were down here. Is it like any, any uh, you know, likelihood? Could you give me a percentage wise that we could see? a card up end up down here South Florida because you got a lot of fighters that I know people down here would love to see. Yeah, let's face it. I mean, there's probably four or five top gyms in the planet, right? And you have two of them right there. Eight, you know, uh, you have um, um, the fight with ATT, right? American top team. And you have Stanford. And th those guys, how many great fighters do they have living there? And a lot of them fight for us too. So uh, the fighters, you know, like you said, would probably love it. Um, we are we are talking to a couple of locations right now in Florida to, to bring fights there. But, uh, you know, I think it's a little bit premature to say exactly when. Yeah. And my goal before the end of the year is to have a fight in Florida. Well, that's uh, that's that's music to our ears. That's uh, I saw. Do you uh, I mean, do, do you get an extra level of excitement for this uh, this type of week, Scott, when you just know, like these two guys are raring and ready to go? Patricio is always such an intense guy. AJ has been Jones for an opportunity like this. When you get to the end of this fight week. Are you worried about standoffs and stare offs and like just the guys making way? Like, what is the anxiety level for you as, as the guy kind of running it all when we get so close to the to the big show happening? You know, I always look at it like this. I'm not the one in the cage, you know, doing the real work, right? Fighting and, and, and you know, doing doing the action. So to me, my job is really at this point is make sure that nothing happens between now and Saturday and uh, and then let the guys fight, you know, let 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 or let the girls or guys fight on Saturday night and just, and just, you know, let the truth speak for itself. Uh, but I, wanted to, I will tell you one story. When, when we did the drawings for this tournament, we had a 16 man tournament. We had so many great featherweights and, and I was sitting there watching this thing unfold. And I'll tell you, honestly, I can say it now. I was, I said to myself, I sure hope it's AJ Vicky riding Pitbull at the end of this tournament. So, you know what? It's, it's here now and it's going to be an amazing fight. These guys all have, both of them have tremendous like talent, and uh, it's going to be the new rising star against, you know, the, the current champ that is still in his prime. And this guy's dangerous and he can knock you out at any time with either hand. And uh, he's, you know, it's going to it's just it's going to be one of those fights where I think I just sit down, get my popcorn and sit back and just watch the fights as it as it unfolds. Do you feel like he's fine? Do you think Patricio is finally getting, uh, I guess, the level of respect going into this? Because. I love watching a young guy rise to the top and be the champ. But I like, I saw the poll on your Twitter account and it's fairly close. I mean, it's a fairly close, but I think it was like 53% say that Patricio is going to win. So it's a majority that thinks he's going to win, but it's very, very close. Do you think that people are finally recognizing, you know, the, the type of wins this guy's, the accolades that he's had, that, that his standing in the sport should, should really greatly be respected. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, for the last year he's had, you know, some, some gain in that respect factor. But people that are in the industry, fighters that have fought him, fighters that have watched him fight, they, they know what they're dealing with, you know. So he gets the respect internally among his peers. But, yes, as far as getting the respect outside his peers, I think he's now getting it. And I think he likes it. And I think he wants to keep it. And the way he keeps it is he's got to take care of business on Saturday night. And it's going to be on Showtime. You guys tune in. Uh, Scott Coker, president of Bellator. Really, I mean, uh, they've been doing a top-notch job, and as you can see, the the crop of talent that they're raising is, you know, bearing fruit to some really, really great fights, and uh, you know, the local ones that we have down here, like Valerie, and all the other ones that you guys have put forth. It's uh, it's a great crop of talent, Scott. So great job by you, and and hopefully, no problems, but hopefully we do see you down here in the future. Yeah, and in the meantime, listen, if you're in the LA area for this weekend, please come to the fight at the LA Forum. If not, tune into Showtime, and you can watch it uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern. Appreciate the time. Thank you.